number 15, the Mahoney County Commissioners of the Order, would everyone please stand for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I didn't expect to see so many wide awake people three days after Christmas. So it's a, it's a good thing. All right. Public comments. Start the meeting. If anyone has anything they'd like to address the board with, we ask you to come to the podium. Give you three minutes. Mike. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, last month you signed an agreement with uh, Republic Services. Mike, for the uh, record, we need to give your name and address. My name is Mike Peher, uh, Division Manager of uh, Carbon Limestone Landfill 8100 South State Line Road, Lowellville, Ohio. Thank you. 44436. Uh, so last month you signed an agreement with uh, us, uh, which uh, will go for 50 to 100 years. And uh, as part of that, Carol will be the only one here then. <laughs> she'll have a short. It'll be me here, Mike. It'll be us. Yes. That's okay, though. I'll be buried here. We'll be right here in the same location. So, anyway, uh, as part of that agreement, uh, I uh, delivered a check to Poland Village for $5,000 earlier in December. And uh, I come to you today to uh, give you a check for $10,000 for the HAZMAT team. This is the first of many. Uh, this 10000 will be paid uh, for the next 50 to 100 years. Uh, as long as the landfill operates, you'll get the $10,000. Wow. Every week, every month, every year. Every month. 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 Every Give it to Anna. Yeah, Anna. Come on, Anna. Anna, Anna you got it. We need to give a picture of you and Anna. Yes, yes. thank you. The representative of the Hey, good deal, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, well, thank you for working. It's always nice when you come bearing gifts. I, it seems that's all I ever come here, right? Now. Well, they call them Santa Claus good. for a reason. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. You know, there's Christmas cheer. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to approval of previous minutes of board meeting number 49, Thursday, December 14, 2017, and approval of bills for payment. So moved. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Negative. Yes. Commissioner Chapman. Yes. Commissioner Victor. Yes. Journal entries. Motion to approve journal entry number one. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Negative. Yes. Commissioner Chapman. Yes. Commissioner Victor. Yes. Travels, engineers. Good morning, everybody. Uh, letter A is the uh, 2018 annual travels for the engineer's office to attend various conferences, seminars, trainings, and required continuing education for the licensed professionals. All right, thank you, Patrick. Lead-based, Philip. Graduate agreement for uh, travel for uh, travel within Ohio and Pennsylvania for working part of meetings, training, and such. Auditors. No, it's agreement. Oh, I'm sorry. Holy Moses. <laughs> All right. You have the travels. Motion approved travels, letters A and B. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Medio again? Yes. Commissioner Chandigan? Yes. Commissioner Dixon? Yes. All right. Now agreements. Auditors. The agreement with the state of Ohio on their completion of basic financial statements for three years, the amount of 32000 per year. Excellent. Thank you. Clerk of Good morning, Commissioners. Nancy. It's a request for professional services with Barbara Sorn. And basically, she's going to provide project management services in relation to our Tiberia e filing system. Uh, it's in the amount of $18,000. And when the purchase order is uh, increased next year, it will be non general funds. <coughs> it will be uh, from a court uh, technology account. 
Convention and Visitors, C3. Good morning. Um, we're lining up things for 2018. Letter C is an agreement with Miles Media Group, who handles our literature distribution at the rest stops on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, leading here to Ohio. Letter D is advertising with Week 4 Magazine. Letter E is our advertising agreement with Meredith Corporation, which publishes Midwest Living, or Best of the Midwest. Uh, letter F is for Auto Club Group Publishing Alliance, which is a variety of AAA publications for those people looking for road trips. And letter G is with Emerald Magazine, Guest Quest, um, a lot of online uh, advertising there. And finally, letter H is with AJR Publishing Crossings Magazine, which is a Canadian publication that reaches our neighbors to the north. Canadian. Yeah. yeah. This is this was for everyone with with a light business products for the annual, annual software insurance and maintenance for square on software global search product. And that's about eight thousand six hundred eighty dollars. That is not general. All right. Thank you. Engineers. Commissioners, <coughs> letter J is an agreement with Thomas Buck and Associates for some engineering design services on the final phase of Meridian Road, which goes from. Uh, I-680 north to the county line. Uh, it's federally funded. And this is a joint project with us and the city of Youngstown. Uh, letter K is an agreement with uh, Concord Road Equipment for repairs to one of our vehicles, and that is not general funds. Thanks, Pat. Letter is Letter L is an agreement with <coughs> residents in for uh, relocation of the families uh, as we're doing that <coughs> uh, in their homes. Uh, letter M is an actual that has control projects. <clears throat> One B. Yeah. Good morning, Commissioners. Nancy. Um, N is an agreement with NMET LLC for repair and maintenance on a hazmat CAD uh, equipment service, and that's for $1,400 non general. Um, letter O is a memorandum of understanding between the Sheriff's Office and the Mahoney County Mental Health. The recovery board for services um, to provide inmates um, and this is a MOU that, that will extend through to the end of Jerry's term or one month after Jerry's term should um, cease and um, we're recording that today with the commissioner's office and in addition to that um, this gives access to the inmates to all levels of, of assistance through the Mental Health and Recovery Board through agreements that they already have. So it's really a great partnership between the Sheriff and the Mental Health Board. And then the letter B is an, is an addendum to that MOU to identify additional services specifically being paid by the Treatment Alternatives Program grant that we got this year that will last two years. Great. Thanks. Recycle. Hi. Good morning. Um, this is a non-general fund with an agreement with uh, YSU, and it's focused mainly on the materials exchange. This is our industrial waste conversion strategy of the state um, solid waste plan. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Agreements. Motion to approve agreements A through Q. Second. Can you send me again? Yes. Yes. <coughs> yes. Change orders. Dog order. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're closing out the dog shelter project, and this is a deduct. When they originally were demoing a house that was previously on the site, they determined they didn't have to remove much of the foundation or footing, so we have a deduct of $3,000. Thanks, John. Engineers. Commissioners, letter B is change order number one and final with RT Vernal Paving for the 2017 OPWC resurfacing uh, Hitchcock Road culvert and Callow Road culvert replacements, which resulted in a decrease in amount. Excellent. Lead base. Change order for an unforeseen uh, item uh, for WWE construction at Kenwood. Thank you. Want to be grants? Commissioners. This is a decrease in the amount of $5,338 for 
for a contract with the NOA terrarium signs for the Coitsville lighting and sidewalk project. Uh, this was a partnership between the county engineers, uh, ODOT funding, and CWG. Excellent. <coughs> change orders. Motion change orders A through D. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Medio Begetti? Yes. Commissioner Yes. Commissioner Yes. Appointments. Commissioners. Appoint the following individuals to serve on the County Convention and Visitors Bureau, effective January 1, 2018, for a two year term. Ray Mancini. Boom Boom Mancini. It's going to be a new appointment on the Convention Visitors. Does an excellent do an excellent job for us. All right. Motion for appointments. Motion to approve appointments 5A. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Medio Begetti? Yes. Commissioner Tepper Yes. Commissioner Yes. Resolutions. Motion to approve resolutions, number one additions. Second. Number those. On the sign. Roll call. You can tell this is the end of the year. Yeah. Commissioner Medio Begetti? Yes. Commissioner Chapman? Yes. Commissioner Yes. Record of bids. Purchasing. Two proposals were received. One from Modern Office of Pi and one from Spaces. Mm -hmm. Do we get one of those easy buttons? I have one. <laughs> I might lend it to you. We need one of those easy mm -hmm. buttons. All right, I'll get three. three. I have one that says something different on it. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. All right. All right. Record of bids. Motion to approve record of bids to A. Roll call. Oh, second. 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 Roll call. Commissioner Remedio Betty? Yes. Commissioner Tapican? Yes. Commissioner Vincent? Yes. Resolution of awards. Engineers, you're a busy man today, Patrick O'Shaughnessy. Commissioner Letter A is the uh, award of the Mahoney Avenue Causeway Project to Gucci and Gaffney excavating the amount of 161,349.90. Uh, this is 80% federally funded. Uh, Virgin Gaffney was a low bid. Uh, letter B <coughs> is the award of the purchase, pickup, and delivery of number nine limestone aggregate uh, from East Fairfield Company. Or, I'm sorry, East Fairfield Coal Company, in the amount of $100,000. And this is non general funds as well. All right, thank you. Resolution of awards. Motion approved resolution of awards, A and B. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Medio again? Yes. Commissioner Chapter Kansas? Yes. Commissioner Bissell? Yes. Resolutions. <laughs> hey, Commissioners, resolution approving the appointment of Mahoney County Prosecutor Paul J. Gaines as the law director for Boardman Township pursuant to the ORC Section 504.15. Uh, that's because they're a home rule township and they have to have a <coughs> they have to have a law director. And uh, so that's who they choose the prosecutor. So it's a wonderful thing. B, Commissioners OMB. C? Commissioners, this is a resolution. Um, we'll do year report of cash advances at the year, end of the year where we have grants that are still waiting on our money to come in. Um, those monies come back to, it comes from the general fund and then back into the general fund at the beginning of the year. Um, we just do an amount not to exceed. I don't expect it to be that high, but it gives us a window so that the auditor can process those in. Item C is for our uh, bond council, um, back with um, Squires, um, Patent and Bug uh, for 2018. And then item D is um, the agreement that the commissioners have as part of a membership with the JOET, which is the Joint Office of Economic Development. This is a withdrawal from that membership, um, and you have to give a six months notification, so that's why it's effective June 30th. Of 2018, um, and we have to stay for a way to share. Um, item E is um, the agreement we have with the COG that the commissioners provide support to the COG, and this is um, item E for this year and what was approved by the board for the COG and requesting you. You guys are approving it, board and lots of town trustees are also waiting for you. All right, okay. thank you. Engineers, you should just stay up. I know, you I should have. Up here it's like being in church. <laughs> <laughs> Letter F is a resolution of necessity to purchase equipment packages from Henderson Products under uh, NJPA 
Uh, these are snow and ice packages for the uh, tandem and single axle trucks. So these purchasing. These are blanket POs for goods and services through cooperative purchasing and enables us to achieve economy and scale, legal protection, eliminates the duplication of requisition, purchase orders, invoices, and expedites the whole process when there's a need for a good or service. Would you repeat that, Jim? <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, facilities purchasing on H, is that uh, included in that? No, unfortunately. We had a heating water supply pipe break in child support wing and it required immediate uh, response. <laughs> Bob breaks for stuff. <laughs> 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 having a bad moment if you that? <laughs> Human resources. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, Nancy. This is a resolution approving the memorandums of understanding with the various unions here in the county um, to accept the health care plan of 2018. Thank you. Thank you. 1B grants, EMA. Commissioners, this is an agreement with the state of Ohio to provide services to our MARPS radios at EMA. We have four radios, and it'll be a total of $480 a year for that service. We're requesting that the proposals that were received from office supplies be rejected. I'm going to give you a little background. Uh, the proposal we received, Modern Office, with our current contract, was a 51.1% discount. They lowered it to 45%. Staples came in at 55% with a greater discount. But moving over to cooperative purchasing, we go up to a 68% discount of overall plus rebates. When you're looking at our bid, the county has a cost of approximately 45 units that participate to 400,000. With cooperative purchasing, there's 7,000 participants, 300 million spent with that purchasing program. So unfortunately, I tried for the local guys between Amazon and the big box. It's hard to compete. Since I've been in this purchasing, I know of six office supply companies in Mahoney County that are no longer in existence. But we did give a try. It was just too far to spread and too much of a discount. Does that uh, cover uh, I would be like the PO for everyone then to participate in cooperative purchasing. And if commissioners do approve, Megan and I will be sending out an email with instructions, and we're going to have an in-service and make sure everyone gets their easy buttons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff. Thank you. All right. Motion to approve resolutions A through L. Second. Commissioner Mayor McGinney? Yes. Commissioner Chantacanti? Yes. Commissioner Dipper? Yes. All right. <coughs> Call for the good of your cat, you know, since how you're used to standing up, sitting down, just like you're going through mass, you might as well stand back up and give us something good to say. <laughs> well, uh, there's a nasty flu going around, so take care of yourselves. Uh, winter has arrived. Uh, be safe out there. Make sure you bring your animals in. And just wish everybody a happy new year. That's all. Thank you. I'm sure. That is true. Everybody's got Everybody has It's like it's, it's a present from Christmas. <laughs> everybody got a cold. Anybody else? Nothing good to say? I grew, up, I, I grew up in Erie, and I'm glad I'm a youngster. <laughs> right. That's a wonderful thing. Now, if you, you know, deny your allegiance to the communist nation and, and disregard the Pittsburgh Steelers, we'll accept you. <laughs> uh, now they're on a roll. I'm not a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I like that. I like that. You're accepted. Audrey. <laughs> Um, I just want to say, uh, let everyone know that the revenue bonds for the 
library uh, closed today and you know, tons of people coming in, so events to have and sanitary bill and auditor's office, commissioners in that process. Um, we were able to rewrite the, uh, the trust agreement and um, with our bond council and everything and get things cleaned up and actually do it for the savings. So it's a good thing, those revenues are coming in, the old bonds will be paid out tomorrow. Wonderful things. A lot of work to get to this point. You know, I'll tell you, Pat's office. And, yes, definitely. And definitely. everybody involved did a great job. Yes. And we'll give Pat a little credit, too. Yes, definitely. Not too much, but a little bit. Anybody else? Carol. Well, you know, I, I just want to wish, before I get into something that I think is really important, I told Audrey, I just have to tell everybody because this is kind of multiplying, and you guys know about the veterans, uh, the veterans, female veterans housing that we have been working on. Tim, you were you were there as, a, as the union representative to go through the building with uh, our partners on this, which is the federal government, the state. Uh, some locals, the Veterans Administration, our office, Audrey and Jimmy have done a lot of work on this. Um, to let you guys know, and you already I keep you abreast of what we're doing there. Um, I am so excited about this because um, I, I just don't think there's enough of um, help, I'll put it that way, that's given to female veterans that have the same issues as the male veterans. And um, to have some transitional housing in Oak Hill, which is set up for hospital, and the rooms are there, and to try to see if we can make this fit and have the money to do this uh, through grants and, um, and from the federal government and the state and different agencies that can help us veteran services. Um, to help the veterans, female veterans, with the same um, things that the men have and keep them separated from uh, the male veterans. I believe there's only, what, one other housing area, and that's Summit County or Cleveland that has that, and there's only, what, 10 beds? I think there's either eight to 10 beds, and that's it. So hopefully, uh, this will work at our building at Oak Hill, uh, and Jennifer Bond, and of course you know Jennifer, she's one of the, uh, uh, commanders, I believe, with uh, the uh, Veterans uh, Association and the man vets, and so she's helping with that as well. And, and those of you here that are veterans, of course, you understand the different um, different areas of which the females have, have had problems in the military, and and they have families just like the men do, and some are single mothers. And so we're going to try to help them do this. I think um, with the help of Anthony and Dave, it's a great project. Um, it is probably one of the better projects. I mean, of course, we've had so many excellent things this year. But this project hits home because you have women with children that really don't have anywhere to go. And if you look at TV and you see the rescue mission, and how they're adding beds on top of beds. You'll see probably in there some of the females. Of course, be added to house helps them out as well. But um, so this going forward for next year, uh, we've had ongoing meetings. We've had meetings with the architect to find out costs. And Jimmy and, and Audrey can fill you in on more of that after we get through the next couple of meetings. I'm excited about this, and I know my two colleagues are excited. Um, Tim, you, you were excited about it as sure. well when you were there. I mean, I got to say one thing about <clears throat> our unions, and they're represented here. Um, when we put the Purple Cat together, um, that is a nonprofit uh, helping out uh, young people and, and people that are not like we are to have jobs and sustain themselves and live in, in, a, in an environment uh, that we take for granted, I think. And they all helped on that. And Gallagher, and I think Marty, is it you or Tim that told me about Gallagher? Why don't you tell them about the Gallagher, the, the reason you guys were a part of uh, 
doing that? Tim Gallagher was a uh, he, he was a <clears throat> uh, inspector up in Trumbull County, actually. And his dad was an electrician, and that would have been his dad's brother was Joey Gallagher, who right. was named after Gallagher's lunch box is named after. So it does come circle with some of the building trades of the uh, participation with it. And you guys did a lot of work. All of you tradesmen did volunteer work to help that kitchen get to where it is. And I say that everywhere I go. That is an accomplishment that we did that is probably, I mean, in no disrespect, anything else that goes on in this county, because we've done a lot of great things in the year, and I'm sure Anthony and Dave will fill you in on that. But these things that we could do to help people, it, it, it's just the greatest thing in the world, and I'll shut up about it. But I kept you on the board, and you're part of the committee now. The trip is part of the committee. So now that you're all here, I can say that. Right? right? Absolutely. Okay, cool deal. Anyway, um, I just want to wish everybody a very happy, um, a very merry, um, merry Christmas is over, but a happy new year. Be healthy. Um, stay safe. And keep God in, in prayer for the, the new year and for healthy and happiness throughout the new year. We'll have a good year, I think. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sure. Happy new year. Happy new year. That's my yeah. I'd just like to, you know, echo what, what Carol said. I mean, the Oak Hill facility is uh, a perfect fit um, for female veterans, and we already have one of the most state-of-the-art uh, office, office places up there right now for our veterans. So with the other wraparound agencies that female veterans can utilize, everything's under one roof. It's a one-stop shop. Uh, the federal government, I think, would be pleased with the aesthetics of what the Oak Hill Center has to offer. As Carol alluded to earlier, uh, there is federal money uh, that comes to the Department of Veterans Affairs. I worked down in Washington for 11 years and realized what their budget is. And uh, hopefully the administration will, will recognize the effect that we have communities like ours who want to assist uh, and offer those types of uh, spaces for our female veterans. So I have to credit Carol. She put a lot of work uh, behind us and Dave and and the commissioners and everyone here in the room to make sure and see if this is a fit for us, and, and I hope it is. Um, I want to thank everyone and wish everyone a happy new year. You know, this year was a great year. Uh, Mahoney County is in the forefront of a lot of accomplishments, not only fiscally, fiscally, budgetarily, but we've done a lot uh, of infrastructure uh, improvements with Pat's office, with the sanitary, uh, you know, the new dog shelter, courthouse restoration, we did work on the jail, uh, we did elevators, we did boilers, we did air conditioners, you know, keeping what we have functioning right for our people. And uh, thank the employees, they, they put a lot of hours in, a lot of hard work, uh, the county making us all look good and our staff and everybody. So I just want to say thank you, we had a great year, we did. stay healthy and looking forward to 2018 and I see better things on the horizon. Uh, for Mahoney County, so I look forward to serving with my two colleagues who I have much admiration uh, and respect for in the new year, and Happy New Year to all your families. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the last meeting of the year, oh, hard to believe it's gone already, Jeez. you know, right through, was through, you know, and, and uh, Nancy and uh, Carol here, you know, they they not only beat me and Anthony on a regular basis, but poor husbands are both recovering from surgeries. You know, they're, you know, so we're looking for a healthier 2018, and maybe these women will lay off. Of give us a you break. Know, yeah. Both of Aunt, me and Anthony are uh, getting over a cold, because Carol and Nancy made us go out in the cold and shovel the sidewalks so they could walk over here this morning. So, so we're, uh, we're recovering. Their husbands are recovering. We're glad to see Frank had his shoulder replaced and Mike got his hip replaced and you know geez oh man these poor guys have been carrying these ladies around so they, they're breaking down they're breaking down and it's good to see that they're doing well and uh, they're, they're on the heel so Andy and I we got a couple of bottles of Crown Royal for uh, Christmas presents I think that's the only salvation that we have but uh, anyway it's now it really has been a great year and 
uh, and I'm thankful to, to have been able to serve with not only Carol and Anthony, but all the employees and, and all the great job that they did in the county on behalf of all of us. And, you know, we see, uh, you know, Tim and Marty and Rocky and guys here from labor do a great job on behalf of the county. And, you know, just so many people that, that have worked so hard. Um, I also want to say that I had the privilege yesterday of going over to visit uh, Marcella Walter, uh, one of our, you know, our deputies that donated her kidney to her uh, fellow officer. And uh, she's doing great. And uh, it's, it was just heartwarming to sit down and talk to somebody who, um, uh, who has gone through all that. You know, I mean, that's you know, a, a major surgery that she voluntarily did to save the life of one of her fellow officers, but another human being that has done a great job. And I know that Sheriff Bean came here and you know talked about it, and you know, and as well as Pat, who lived it, and uh, so many different things, and how, how difficult that scenario is. And, and it was just really nice to sit down and, and see her and and, uh, and be able to be part of you know just to discuss it with her and see her, see her improving daily. Said she's still taking some naps on a on a regular basis, but she's feeling great. She looked great and uh, looked healthy as healthy as could be. So it was a wonderful thing. And uh, those are the people that, that really warm your heart in the holiday seasons that are that really should be looked at as our heroes. You know, doing things like that. Um, we also uh, Anthony and, and Carol and I got to participate not participate but. Uh, Witness Carla Baldwin being sworn in yesterday as the judge of Youngstown Municipal Court. Um, what a fantastic young lady she is, and you know what a background, what a family. Uh, you know her education, her her upbringing, just everything involved. It was just uh, you know a wonderful person, well prepared uh, for the job she's taken, and I know she'll do an excellent job. And, and uh, it was just very very nice to to sit and watch that, and you know it just. Make it, it makes it makes you go back to, to think about you know when you know you you know what a uh, happy moment it is when you're when you're getting elected and you know being able to serve and fulfilling a dream and and uh, really seemed like that was her dream so I think that she said she wrote uh, correctly uh, a letter or a, uh, an essay when she was in grade school sixth that she, grade she sixth wanted. grade that she want what she wanted to do oh, you know, and, and you know her teacher told her you know. Plan your future. Write down what you want to do in life, and that was what she wrote down in, in sixth grade. You know, so, so yeah, so fulfilling the dream and you know being able to serve and, and help others was just amazing. So it was really, it was really a great event. And then she was at um, Judge Millich at his last Veterans Court, mm -hmm. and um, she sat on the, on the, you know on the dais with him while he did his last Veterans graduation and pass the baton to her and she will continue that, which is like the greatest thing that started in the city when I was when we when I was a constable was to, you know, to help, you know, the veterans. And so that <coughs> is going to continue along with probably having their new new offices over in their own building. So we got a lot of good things going on in the city. We'll be all right. That was the last thing I wanted to mention was Judge Millich wanted to congratulate him. You know, a lot of years of great service for Mahoney uh, County, the city of Youngstown, and for the veterans. He did a great job for a long time, and, and uh, that she will continue his legacy. So it's, uh, it's all good things going on, a lot of good things happening, and you know, we look forward to uh, 2018, hopefully a happy and a healthy one. Yes. The women quit beating us so much, so it's all good. Happy New Year. Stay safe. See you. Have a blessed year. With that, uh, our next meeting will be determined when it is. We don't have it uh, identified yet, but you know, I think it will be on a Monday, a reorganizational meeting. Um, and we'll keep you posted as to the exact time and date. But we have it out today. We'll know today when it is. So, anyway, I wish you a Happy New Year. With that, ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Commissioner Mitter again. Yes. Commissioner Chapel. Yes. Yes. Bring those animals in. <coughs> hey, Patrick O'Shaughnessy. I got a ticket for you.